my loves welcome back i hope you've had a lovely week so this week i'm going to focus this vlog on finishing unfinished tasks it's nothing quite like heading into the spooky season by finishing unfinished business is there now we all know that it's the most wonderful time of the year coming up but i cannot help i feel a little bit overwhelmed at the moment by the amount of stuff that is kind of lingering in the back of my brain so I'm gonna use this week to download my thoughts make a lot of lists and I mean a lot of lists and get cracking with finishing some things that have been left gathering dust for the last few months so first of all we're gonna head into my art supplies drawer and dig out my sketchbook that contains my chameleon I don't even remember when I started this I want to say it was earlier this year but it could well have been the arse end of last year I don't remember guys my husband reminded me of this because I kind of forgot about it this thing has taken a really really long time I've spent so much time on this thing already that I thought I would just revisit it so this week I need to make up some invoices for some commission work some custom pieces I have a pet portrait to organize as well and I just thought I would tell you about the weekend and my thoughts and things um, and discuss burnout a little bit because hmm burnout is something that happens to all of us and you guys seem to really like the chatty format from last week's vlog so I thought I would do that a little bit more so on a Friday afternoon I all of a sudden felt just horrible I felt really really bad you know when it just hits you out of nowhere and you feel so tired that you start shaking your hands start shaking and you can't really see properly and you just feel sick and everything just feels tight and overwhelming because you're just so so tired that happened guys it happened and as much as I've been trying to focus on my mental health a lot more this year and prioritise self-care and actually recognising when Ellis Jade needs a break. It's not always easy and sometimes you can try as much as you like and it creeps up on you out of nowhere and that's what happened to me on Friday. I was so tired and I just felt done. It was one of them afternoons where I felt so completely done with a lot of things. My husband and I we streamed Mulan. We had a lovely evening and then the next morning James said, are those drawers back in stock yet? Yeah. So long on short guys, I'm gonna fill you in here. I've been running out of space now in my studio for quite some time. And as a small business, it, um, as any kind of business actually, it pays, sometimes it's so much more cost effective to buy things in bulk, whether it's packaging or the actual products themselves anything anything and everything and gradually i've been running out of space in my teeny tiny shoebox studio and whilst at the moment it's not a sensible in a in an affordable kind of way like a financial kind of way it's not a thing that i want to get myself into just yet but i can definitely see it happening within the next year maybe is actually looking to get in a studio space but as i say it's not and it's not an affordable thing right now so what we did do was we cleared our loft, we had a really really good clear out, we were brutal and at the end of last year we started laying boards down up there, I say we, um, it was James, I can't get up there because I'm tiny, I can't lift myself into the loft so um, we also need to at some point invest in a loft ladder so I can actually get my ass up there and it's for now going to be like an excess storage space so any storage boxes or just anything that I can put up there that I don't need all of the time I can just keep it up there and that's what you saw me doing last week as well I transferred my Kallax unit up into the loft because I have my eye on a much more efficient piece of storage furniture I'm a big fan of the Alex drawers guys they, I just find them to be quite an efficient use of space great for storage especially small things and since all of the washi tapes arrived last week I definitely didn't realize just how much washi tapes were coming and like the size of it if that makes any sense so I think that was part of my problem last week is because I haven't got much space anyway I threw myself into packing all of these Kickstarter rewards parcels ended up overwhelming myself and 
ended up feeling really really claustrophobic in this small space and I was actually waiting for the Alex drawers to come back into stock with Ikea so I didn't want to go to Ikea just for the sake of it if they weren't in stock so I was waiting for them to come back and on Saturday morning James said oh have you checked Ikea so I did because I also made a note of when they were expected back in stock they were in stock so off we went to Ikea. I really didn't want to guys, I was so so tired that I just couldn't, I couldn't bear the thought of going around Ikea. Luckily though, when we go to Ikea we go with a plan. I, I hate walking around aimlessly, let me know what you got. Do you like just shopping? Do you like just wandering around the shops? I don't, so if I ever go to the shops it's because I've got a plan of action guys and I want to get in and get out and get home and get under a blanket with my fur babies, that is how I roll. So off we went, I really didn't want to but James said you'll feel much better once you've got this storage and you can properly, like we can organise your studio and make it a much nicer place for you to sit and be in and I'm so glad that he encouraged us to go because otherwise I wouldn't and also I wouldn't be feeling so much more comfortable in here now. So I have reorganised all of my drawers. We spent Saturday doing a bit of like building. <laughs> in the evening, James finally managed to get me painting some models. So James actually does some miniature um, like Warhammer miniature painting, miniature model painting and for a while now he's been like you'd enjoy this too you know and I'm like oh, just, just, oh. those models are expensive which is part of the reason why I didn't want to get into it because I was like I don't, I don't need this excuse to be buying more art supplies. I've recently got rid of so many art supplies like I've donated supplies to schools, I've given stuff to family and friends and I'm trying really hard to just declutter and clear my space because I just I don't have the space anyway but also like mentally I've realized that I'm one of those people that I can't deal with just stuff it's it's a really weird feeling but I hate just being able to see loads of stuff and I didn't want to get into something else but there I was on Saturday night guys like a wild one painting miniature models with my husband he taught me how to airbrush uh, and like colour theory and all that kind of stuff there. Should we try this tea? It smells like smoke. It actually smells like when farriers are seeing to horses feet. I literally feel like I'm sucking on a horse's foot right now right after he's had a new shoe fitted. It could be worse, we'll put that to one side. But yes, there I was on a Saturday night painting miniature models, but I am not ashamed to say that I found it really relaxing. I'll definitely be treating that as something I do in my spare time, something I go to for relaxation. And then yesterday I had a nap, I slept hard, I did a couple more Kickstarter parcels, I've got a bag of them behind me ready to ship today so there's maybe half of them are ready to go which is the worst bit, the labels and yeah that was the weekend and I'm still feeling quite tired, I'm still feeling a little bit like overwhelmed about things but I'm hoping if I spend this week just downloading my brain, writing things down and making my mind feel a bit more organised about stuff that's upcoming, stuff that I'd like to do then I'll start to feel much better. Sometimes admin just feels like a big black cloud over my head and I think the sooner I just throw myself in there and get things organised I feel much better. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do this week. So I haven't found a new home for Mr. Pig yet, but um, he's just chilling here for now. He's definitely staying. Obviously it's Mr. Pig, but yeah, I don't know where to put him. You guys always love a drawers tour though, you cheeky devils. So I thought I'd show you the new drawers. Washi tapes, guys. Washi tapes. More washi tapes. Do you see what my problem was now? <laughs> so yeah, I've just laid them all out in this drawer because it's easier to pick and pack now. And um, they're nice shallow drawers. This is why I love them so much because they're nice and shallow and you're not wasting too much space. Um, so when it comes to smaller things, you can easily see them and pick them. Like, it just, it makes more sense. 
this drawer here is packing so tissue papers there's some boxes in here but mostly tissue paper cellos and stickers for packaging this is the pin drawer so all of the pins are now in one drawer so this side we have enamel i'm going to be filtering out enamel all of these as well they're going to go as much as i you guys know i love the gummy bear he's one of my favorites he's so glittery and pretty this is one of my favorites too the potion bottle is an all-time favorite um this side's all wooden pins so this one i don't think you guys will have seen but that was the patron pin for august a little cheesy plant like mr cheese downstairs but yes they're all in one drawer now all in one space this is the sewing drawer, all of that's in one drawer now. And then this one is my art supplies drawer, so I wanted to condense it all down and just have one drawer. I didn't need it all, guys. I did not need it all. It's a much more efficient use of space. Very happy with it. fresh new day it's a new dawn it's a new day and it's a new life for me don't quit your day job Ellen. so it's a fresh new day and i am starting to feel the tediousness of this chameleon i shared him on instagram the other day and the general the general comment theme was you're mad yes quite so I started this chameleon, I think he was a suggestion from one of my patrons. I hate you all. I don't, I love you very much. Thanks guys, thanks, thanks for doing this to me. I mean I didn't have to say yes, it's entirely my fault. But I wanted to push my boundaries, I wanted to do this to myself. At the time I did. Don't get me wrong, I'm really enjoying this piece still, but I am now like several hundreds of hours into this piece and I'm like we're nowhere near done we're just nowhere near done and here's me at the start of the week like maybe I can like put some serious progress into this piece and get it closer to being finished and whilst I have achieved this it is a piece where I am having to step away it's definitely a piece that I'm dipping in and out of I want to get him finished for the festive launch at the start of October that gives me another like three weeks to I mean, my pencil's getting a bit stubby as well, so that is a problem. But I have matched this Prisma colour to one of the Faber-Castell ones that I've got, so I'm not going to go and buy any more pencils just yet. I'm going to just use what I have. Here's where we're at so far. He might have a little bit more done to him by the end of the week. But yesterday I did, I finished kind of down here and then the top of his upper jaw. So he's got a little smile coming in there now as well, but... Here's, here's time for some honesty guys. I know most of the feedback was you are mad for doing this but I really wanted to challenge myself and push myself out of my comfort zone with my realism pieces that I really want to branch further into and just slow down a bit, just slow down my pace with regards to feeling like an urgency to get products into the shop because so many times I've done a piece of artwork and it's been rushed just so that I can have something new to share and it's just not what I want to do anymore. The amount of times that I've created a piece of artwork and it just doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel like me, but when it's a business thing you're like, oh I should be doing it, but I really wanted to slow down and challenge myself as an illustrator and that's why I've been doing things like this. And what I'm going to do now is go back to my field mouse, which it's kind of just as deep it's not as tedious as the chameleon but it's like individual bits of grain i want to get these made into prints ready for the festive launch so that is why i'm trying to get these unfinished pieces finished so yeah whilst my chameleon is not going to be finished this week i'm just going to break it to you now it's not going to be finished and the old hand can't take it there's only so much pencil work i can do which is really annoying because of this like ongoing thing that I have but 
yeah, I'm thinking painting is a bit, it's a bit looser, it's a bit more gentle on the old handy. So I'm going to set you guys up and we're now going to try and do some field mouse. So I have just ordered some zips. That was something else on my to-do list that I was putting off for no reason, to be honest. I just hadn't got around to it. It's one of them things I hadn't got around to it, but the zips off all the pouches. So over the next three weeks, I'm gonna be making more pouches. I'm really happy with them. I haven't touched them for a couple of weeks now because it was a case of, well, I've run out of zips, but I have put more zips. Why? Why do I do this? I don't know. So much has been happening. I th I'm just gonna blame Project Washi. And what I've got left to do today is work through a couple of straggler um, washi parcels, people that I'm just waiting to get back to me. So um, they're just people that I've been waiting for information on, so I can do those. So I will look at my list and see if there's any more that I can take off, but I'm up to date with my orders and I've got a lot done this week, so that is great. So I'm not gonna feel too sore about the chameleon situation. So I've just finished my field mouse. It feels really, really good to have this piece completed. I think I started it two or three weeks ago. So it feels really nice to be able to call this one more or less finished. I don't know whether to put some more little um, details in its fur, but it's not a big deal. It's not gonna be time consuming. <laughs> like each one of these pieces, barley is what I meant to call it earlier in the vlog. The most time consuming bit was painting all of these little individual pieces of barley but now he's finished I'm wondering what to make with him so I thought maybe prints but I also don't know whether he'd make a nice greeting card please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see him on and I can put an order in ready for the festive collection launch I know he's not very festive but I thought it was really cute and I could add him into the shop because I'm really proud of this one I think he's sweet so I wanted to finish the painting before this is Ellis trying to discipline herself because I have one of these to open with you guys my lovely chums over at paper gang asked if I would like to get the September box so this has been gifted they've been very kind and sent this to me today because bless them they remembered how much I enjoyed the illustrators work from the it was the marine life one from last year and it was absolutely stunning and i loved the illustrator so much they very kindly sent me <laughs> this box which is by the same illustrator so i thought i would open it with you guys and we can see what's in this space themed box so their new boxes as well are a little bit easy to open So as always, for every four boxes they sell, they plant a tree. So that is awesome. I'm going to turn it around this way so it fits into the frame a bit better. What's underneath? That looks like wrapping paper. 
and I'm never mad at getting wrapping paper because it just allows me to have a big stash ready for parties and birthdays and all that kind of stuff. That is really, really cute. I also repurpose all of the tissue paper. Oh, there's a pin. It's always exciting when there's a pin and so there's a little space, spacey astronaut in there. That's cute. I think it's soft enamel. I think it's a soft enamel pin. That's cute. Oh, this is nice. So there's also one of these miniature planners that you get in each and every box. They're just a different theme each month, but um, these weren't my cup of tea. So I was always given these to one of my friends who actually really, really loves using them, but they're just not for me. So I'll pop that into her next Happy Mail box that I make up for her. There's a couple of greeting cards, so have an out of this world birthday. Again, the same with the wrapping paper, I can never have too many greeting cards and um, wrapping paper just stashed away for birthdays. And then there's this one that says love you to the moon and back, which I have to say is my favourite out of the two. That one is really cute and it's got silver on it. Can you see it? Look at, them, look at them shine. Shiny! Jack Carter is the illustrator behind this box and his work is just gorgeous. Oh, so there's some stickers. Are they all the same? Let's have a look. There's usually three or four sheets when I've had stickers from the boxes before. Yeah, there's four sheets here. They're all the same sheets, but if you love stickers, like me, you can never have too many stickers. And they come on a backing board as well, just to keep them safe. This thing though, oh my word, deep thoughts. I mean, how applicable is that to Ellis Jade right now? Oh, oh it's square, that's really interesting. I don't believe I've ever had a notebook because notebooks are very common in paper going boxes which as a stationery lover I'm not complaining in the slightest. This one is hardback and it's kind of like fabric-y as well, it's got like a fabric-y feel to it so that's really nice actually because some notebooks I've had from paper going before have been quite flimsy whereas the last few that I remember getting they're nice and hard oh that does not disappoint that's a really awesome box actually a pin paper greeting card stickers that's a really good one but i don't remember ever having the square what do you call this it's like graph paper isn't it that's probably that shows how long it's been since i've used square paper but this would be amazing for bullet journaling it's also got this wild neon green bookmark too which is great for keeping your place. So yeah, I'm gonna save this for the new year because I'm getting to the end of one of my notebooks right now. One of my notebooks, I mean, this is me we're talking about. Thank you so much Paper Gang for sending this over and also thank you even more for just remembering how much I love this illustrator's work. And thank you for getting in touch. It's always a pleasure to hear from Paper Gang. They're so, so lovely. So I had to change out of my shirt because I got paint in my hair and then got paint over my shirt because of my hair. Mm. Hello. Are you going to say hello to everybody? Hi. Looking very happy. Hi, puppy. There he is. Good boy. Little bat fink, little bat fink, oh yes, well done, dog is, I think it's time for coffee, isn't it puppy, do you want a snack, do you want a snack, I want a snack, yum 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 yum. We have coffee, I mean it's not for you, it's for me, but are you happy about it, oh yes doggies. You've just had a biscuit. Please don't give me that stare. You've had a biscuit. Don't try telling everybody that you didn't. How many biscuits today? Oh, well, we've had some carrot as well. Didn't you? You had some carrot. That is all. Are you coming, doggies? Off she goes, my little assistant. So these are the last few Kickstarter parcels. Apart from tracked ones. So I'm going to do these... Now, I'm going to label them up so that I can take them tonight. And then I'm going to do the tracked ones over the weekend so that I can actually go to the post office on Monday for the first time in months. I don't know what it's going to be like, but I wanted to get all the tracked ones ready in one go so that it's just one trip. Mm -hmm. 